All right, Meta is expanding its horizons in the digital asset space by now letting users post their NFTs across both Instagram and Facebook. With more on what's shaking up in the digital realm is Yahoo Finance tech editor Dan Halley. And Dan, my first instinct, not necessarily great news for uh, the folks at GameStop who've been pushing into NFT via their new marketplace, but take us through this. Yeah, essentially what uh, Meta is doing here, Facebook Meta, however you want to refer to them, uh, is just expanding their ability to allow people to display their NFTs that they already own. So they had previously allowed people to see uh, NFTs or upload images of their NFTs to Instagram. Uh, they also allowed it on Facebook. Now you can just do it both in one shot. And really this is kind of part of the company's effort to further expand into the NFT space. Uh, obviously they're doing this uh, very heavily uh, just because they wanted to kind of uh, jump on the bandwagon it seemed when NFTs were really kind of blowing up uh, as far as the, the national consciousness go or international consciousness goes. Uh, but they've since kind of fallen off. You kind of see, uh, you know, the Bored Ape Yacht Club not really uh, as popping as it used to be. Uh, and then obviously, uh, if you just want to throw uh, a little bit of uh, water on the fire there, we had Eminem and Snoop Dogg doing a, I don't even know what to call it, kind of performance uh, at the VMAs as their uh, Bored Ape Yacht Club uh, avatars, which just, was absolutely awful looking. And so, you know, you have to wonder how all of this is going to impact uh, the NFT market and then how it's going to impact what users think uh, and consumers think of the NFT marketplace going forward. What a cosmic kaleidoscope type of performance it was. Uh, and yeah, nothing like the Super Bowl performance that we saw them in with Dr. Dre, yeah. Snoop. Uh, and of course, how could we forget Kendrick Lamar and 50 Cent. But at the same time here, when we think about the social companies and how they're trying to really cozy up to the NFT owners, the audience for potential buyers of NFTs and what that may mean for their own plays with non-fungible tokens and the metaverse in the future, Facebook's not the first one or meta platforms is not the first one to do this regardless of them spending heavily, what, $10 billion uh, is what they've earmarked for the metaverse spending. But Twitter has done this as well. Is there any results that we've seen to say that this has been successful in driving up engagement, in driving more revenue? No, not not yet. Uh, this is all still very, very new. Uh, you know, I mean, NFTs, most people, if you ask the average consumer, I'm sure they would have no idea what an NFT is. Uh, they would probably just say pictures. Um, they don't really, you know, recognize whether or not there's any uh, utility to it uh, outside of being able to buy, uh, you know, Im images uh, online or, you know, perhaps uh, owning the rights to a song or something along those lines. Uh, the gaming industry is trying to tepidly get into it, but the response has been uh, anything but positive from gamers. And so, you know, you have this kind of space where there's a lot of money changing hands or previously was a lot of money changing hands that's cooled off, obviously, uh, as crypto prices have cooled off. But, you know, it, it really hasn't uh, done much or there's no idea really as to whether or not it's done much for engagement with the likes of Instagram and Facebook. And, you know, I, I don't know if we'll ever really see that provide any kind of meaningful engagement push moving forward. Dan, I think NFT is just a, a new vegetable. Let's just say it is a, a new low fat avocado, just something absolutely magical, very unicorn like. Dan Halley, thanks so much.